Another online tool you might find useful on the Okta Certified Developer exam is the OpenID Connect Debugger. This tool is particularly helpful for configuring OIDC applications in Okta. You can find it by navigating to oidcdebugger.com. When your browser paints to the screen, you will see an interface that looks like this. But before we enter values into OIDC Debugger, we must first go to Okta and create an OIDC application. As you can see, I am at my Okta administrative dashboard, logged in as the Okta admin, a super administrator account. From the main menu, I'll hover over Applications and choose Applications. I'll add an application and then say Create New App. In the ensuing dialog box, I'll leave the platform at Web, but I'll change the sign-on method to OpenID Connect. Then I'll click Create. I'll give my application a name, and I'll give it a login redirect URI that corresponds to the OIDC debugger. Then I'll click the Save button to create the app. Next, I'll navigate to the Assignments tab and assign this application to myself. The next thing I have to do in Okta is copy the client ID. I'll find that in the General tab of the Okta application. I'll click this button to copy the client ID to my clipboard. Now I'm ready to go to oidcdebugger.com. I'll put in my Authorize URI, which is the Authorize REST endpoint for my Okta org. I'll leave the redirect URI as is, but now I need to paste in the client ID that Okta gave me. The last two blanks I need to fill in are state and nonce. These two values will accompany an OIDC call to my Okta org and return the value to OIDC debugger for verification. So it really doesn't matter what data goes into these boxes, as long as they are not left blank. Since I want to use the OIDC authorization code flow for this test, I'll set the response type to code. Further below are a set of buttons for response mode. It doesn't much matter which one we choose, so I'll just take form post. Now I'm ready to test by clicking the Send Request button. OIDC Debugger responds with a success message, which tells me I've configured OIDC correctly. This concludes our demonstration of OIDCDebugger.com. Best of luck on the Okta Certified Developer exam.